Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I got another haul for you guys. Apparently they're my favorite video. I guess I just don't know what else to film. But a uh, super fun haul. It's a Dolls Kill Halloween costume haul. I bought five costumes from there and I'm going to be trying them on. Gonna do a little bit different. Try them on and talk about them while they're on instead of just talking about them while holding them. Hopefully that works. Um, I sometimes have a hard time getting my body into the camera, my whole body into the camera. So we're gonna try it. If not, then it's just going to be, then this part will be cut out and you won't even see it. But, um, so yeah, I, like I said, I bought five. They're all, I don't really know. They're not really that different. They're things that I thought were cute. There was a sale. I thought I would buy a couple. I've always wanted to buy, um, Halloween costumes from Dolls Kill. I always thought they were really cute. Didn't know what the quality was like. Haven't really done a lot for Halloween, but um, I actually have plans on Halloween this year. And I have a favorite. Well, I have one that I'm 99% sure that I'm going to wear. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. All right, so we're gonna start off with the first costume. I think this one's my least favorite. No particular reason, but um, yeah. It is called Friend of the Devil Costume Set. So something about Dolls Kill is all of their costumes are on the more inappropriate side. So this one is really, really short. And I don't know, I just don't really like the way it hangs. It seems not necessarily low quality, but just not my favorite. Hold on. It's, oh, is it inside out? No, it's not inside out. I got all these costumes in a medium, by the way, just so you all know. So it is a, um, just pretty much a slip dress. It has fuzzy sleeves and fuzzy rim around the bottom. And yeah, it's just a slip dress. It does, it, it's very short. Um, I would probably, I would feel the most comfortable wearing some sort of spandex underneath, something underneath, just so it's not, I don't feel fully exposed. Um, so yeah, it is really short. If you're shorter, it probably isn't that bad, but I am 5'8", so, you know, just, it's short. Um, but it does come with accessories, which is really cute, and I actually dropped them on the floor. Um, so, first is Little Pitchfork, which is really cute. That's something that I like about Dolls Kill costumes, is a lot of them come with the accessories, and you don't have to purchase them on the side. I feel like when I was younger, and I bought Spirit Halloween costumes, it was like, you got the costume, but now you gotta go buy all the extra stuff for it. So this one, it comes with it. So this one, you got a little pitchfork, which is super cute. And then little devil horns, which look, I think they're, I actually haven't put these on yet, so <laughs> I think they look really cute. That honestly adds to the costume a lot. And then little um, fishnets, um, thigh-high fishnets with, um, it's like a lacy trim at the top. And yeah, these definitely add to the costume. Still not my favorite, but definitely adds to it. So yeah, um, try it on and I'll have more to say about it. Okay, first up, ignore the mess behind me. It's just gonna have, it's gonna stay there for most of the video. I'm trying to get the horns into the view because I think that's my favorite part of the costume. And you can't see the fishnets, which are falling off of me. They don't want to stay. I can't get them into view. There you go. There's my knee. There's my foot. This is a short dress. Now, I tried them all on before I started filming, and I thought some of the other ones were short, but this is like one wrong move short. Like, I don't know if you can tell in the video. Oh, I just don't. I think my favorite part about this costume is the devil horns. Don't love the dress. I, this is pretty, this is fine. It's cute. I wouldn't want to hold it all night though. The fishnets falling off of me as we speak. They're going down my legs. I think if you're looking for something easy, this is a good costume. Just cause like put it on, go out. Don't have to worry about it. But at the same time, like get a red dress, get some horns, get some fishnets that'll stay on your legs. And that'll be better. So this is definitely, like I said, my least favorite of all the costumes. Yeah. 
I want to like it. I really want to like it. I just don't. It's not, it's not working for me at all. It's not, it's not it. These are cute though. So, okay. So on to the next one. Um, it looks very similar to the devil costume, but it is different. This is the bride of Beetlejuice costume. I saw this one. I remember when they came out with the new costumes this year. I saw this one on Instagram and I thought it was adorable. I really like the movie Beetlejuice. So it's kind of like a sexier version of Lydia's dress in Beetlejuice. So just a high neckline with a kind of tulle ballerina-esque skirt. And then it has a little ribbon up at the top. The lacy part is has little hearts in it. This one is very crumbled up from the bag, which I think is part of the reason why I'm not loving it as much as some of the other costumes. They all obviously had to be packed very tight and I did leave them in their packaging for a minute, but it is very crumpled and I don't know how well this material will relax. Even if like you steamed it, I don't know how well it would relax. So that is kind of off-putting, but this one also comes with cute accessories. Um, so this has a little veil that you can just clip into your hair because you're the bride of Beetlejuice. So little veil. And then this has little, it's little fingerless gloves that you attach just onto your middle finger, which are very cute. This is a costume that made me want to order other costumes, so. Okay, so this is the Bride of Beetlejuice costume. And before we even start talking about the things that I like and dislike about the costume, I am alone and I cannot get it zipped all the way up to my neck by myself. So <laughs> if you are alone, this might not be the costume for you because it, it, I just can't get it zipped up. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like, all nice and tight. And I'm gonna let go because I wanna talk with my hands. But yeah, I can't get it zipped up on myself. So it also, the back has lace, like what's on the sleeve and it gets caught in the zipper, which really is not the best thing in the world for someone to do by themselves. So yeah, things that I don't like. Adding to that, um, these are very tight. The armbands are very tight on the finger, on the wrist, all the way up to the top. They are very tight. So don't love that. Like I said, don't know if I just have really big arms or what, but yeah. Secondly, when it gets shipped, everything just kind of stays in that not so nice crinkled fashion. So it's going to take some time to soften out, deflate. But right now it looks very crinkled and I don't like that. Um, things I do like. The accessories are freaking cute. I mean, like a little veil. It will not stay in my hair very well because my hair sucks at holding clips. But that's so cute. I do like the arm bands. Cute accessory. And overall, I like the way this looks, but I don't like the way it looks on me. I don't like the shiny material. I don't like the where it hits me. I don't like the high collar. A lot of things I don't like. I can see this looking good on a lot of people though. It looked really cute on the model. It does not, does not look cute on me. I'll give a little 360 action. And yeah, not my favorite. Don't have a lot to say about it. There's a lot of components that are making me not like it. As much as I did when I first saw it. Yeah. Okay, so next up we have the Coven Cheerleader costume. I think the cheerleader costumes are kind of what Dolls Kill first, what I saw first from Dolls Kill. Um, and probably the past like five years I've wanted to buy one, but once again, haven't had anything to do on Halloween, so I haven't bought one. Um, not necessarily disappointed in this costume, it just does not fit me perfectly. And I don't want to say it's complicated because you can figure out how to wear it, but so, but it's still really cute. If I had a place to wear this, I would wear it. Yeah. So, on the top, if I can get it the correct way. It is just a crop top cheerleader top. I'm gonna try to hold it. And it says Witch 13 on it in cute little letters. 
and the back is very complicated and this is the part that I had a hard time getting on I just didn't want to pull too hard and ruin it I don't really know I didn't want to get makeup on it there was a lot of things I really like the back I think it's a really good detail to add to it it's a really it's really stretchy also so that's helpful but I just I didn't I didn't like how complicated it felt to get on and then on the bottom it is just a pleated skirt now this is incredibly short it did not look as short as it actually is on the model which i found i don't know if i'm just taller than the model which doesn't really make a lot of sense if i'm just built differently than the model but it is incredibly short but it's really really cute um just pleated it is stretchy once again a medium it's not high-waisted and i think i i guess it's kind of high-waisted but it definitely looks bigger um, it's stretchy in case you want to size down. I probably in the bottoms would have wanted to size down, but not in the top, but you don't get that option. So yeah. And then there's just cute little patches. There's like a moon and if I could find, yeah, just cute little patches on it. And then accessories for this one, if I can find them, two cute little pom-poms these are made out of it doesn't it's like a i guess it's plastic it's not what like if you're actually cheering with pom-poms it's not made out of those and then it just has a cute little handle to do cheers with and it is short so it does come with little underwear bloomer-esque things if i can get them and they just say spell on you so if you do want to be cute sexy and appropriate you can do a little flash um they're not super big but they're also not super small so it depends how sexy you want to be if you want to wear these or if you want to wear something a little bit fuller coverage on the bottoms and then last but not least is a little what kind of cheerleader would you be if you didn't have a bow so it comes with a little bow that you can put your hair up with this costume's cute it's not exactly what i thought it would be the material is really good it's really thick it's stretchy um I just it doesn't fit me the way I wanted it to I didn't like how it was when it was on um, I really wanted to like this one though just not my favorite okay so next up is the cheerleader costume if you couldn't tell from the pom-poms okay second time trying this on and I do like it a little bit more than the first time um, unfortunately I wish it just stayed a little bit higher on my waist but if I pull it higher up in the waist, the shorter it gets in the back. I don't want it to be that much shorter in the back. I wish it was like two inches longer, maybe even an inch longer. And I wish that it fit my waist better because this is like where it fits and I don't want it to be there. I want it to be high on my waist. So wearing it high on my waist means that my booty is going to show, but think it's intentional because the butt does say whatever it says on it so uh like I said second time wearing it think it's a lot cuter I was able to actually get it on please ignore the tag <laughs> my back I was actually able to get the top on with the back being correct this time the first time the tag kind of got stuck and it did not look very good but the more I wear it the more I like it so confusing and I do think it would be cool to have pom-poms at a party I was a cheerleader in high school I'll probably talk about that later at some point on my channel but I was a cheerleader in high school so yeah this is growing on me I kind of like it a lot now yeah I don't really have anything negative to say except for that it's short material is really nice kind of thick I think the top is really cute um the I will say that it's not like sewn on it is just like a print so if you maybe want to stretch out wearing it for a couple Halloweens it might start cracking but you know that's kind of just how it is with wearing clothes honestly I'm staring at myself if you so sorry um yeah I like it though I'll do a little twirl. All right, going on to the last two. These two are my favorite. Um, so, 
So this one, I almost want to just wear it like in real life because it's super cute. It's called it's called the Bashful Bat Dress. So it is just a regular black dress. It is on the shorter side, unfortunately. I think that's what, if I'm gonna have to put anything that I don't love on it, it is on the shorter side. So just a regular black dress. If, you, if I can, I'm just gonna put it over my face. But then the sleeves have this lace design. So cute. And it's connected to the sleeve and the dress, so it does look like a bat. And I, I think that's awesome. This, like, I would just wear this on a Tuesday to the grocery store. I love dresses that have really big sleeves. So I, I knew I had to get this, uh, this dress when I saw it. So this is definitely top, top one of the costumes. Unfortunately, this one doesn't come with any accessories. It is just the dress. So you would have to kind of figure that out on your own. But if you, like I said, if you're just looking for a cute dress to wear, this is it. You know, you don't have, always have to go super dressed up for Halloween. So this one's really nice. So next up is the fat one. Like I said, cute little black dress, a little bit on the shorter side, which is okay. It's not too short. I mean, I could wear tights underneath if I really wanted to. Um, but selling point, lift your arms up such pretty lace detail bat wings on the dress this one fits really well i think this is a really good costume if you just were like okay i don't want to go too crazy but i want to somehow still wear a costume this is the best of both worlds because it is a costume even though i said i would wear it on a tuesday to the grocery store i don't know if everyone would but yeah super cute really nice in the black back um forgot to mention this but the top does have lace detailing on it and so does the bottom you can't really tell but it's the same type of style as the sleeves are so yeah this one is definitely one of my favorites last but not least kind of the whole reason why these costumes were purchased so i know i've talked about in some earlier videos that I'm going to a bunch of Harry Styles concerts and one of those concerts is Harry Ween and I saw this costume. I didn't have a costume. I didn't have, I didn't know what I was going to wear. I was like, I could be a hippie. I could be, that's honestly all I could think of. But like people dress like hippies just to go to a normal Harry, like normal when they go to a Harry Styles concert. So I thought I actually have to wear a costume. Hippie was the only thing I could think of. So I'm scrolling through costume websites, scrolling through Dolls Kill, and I saw this one and I thought, hmm, kind of reminds me of Don't Worry Darling. And I was just like, maybe this would look cute. It's not necessarily directly related to him, but like it is. So I saw this costume and I knew that I had to buy it and I hoped it looked good, but this is called the Aspiring Widow costume um, all right so like i said this is called the aspiring widow costume so it is this 50s housewife 50s housewife looking dress if i can get the tag to cooperate with me i'll show it to you okay so black and white collar button up and then a really nice if i can kind of get it in the frame like flouncy skirt there is um kind of like a hoop skirt underneath it is um if i can show you i will it has just a two layers underneath um to give it some texture uh this just got really flattened when it was shipped so the um wiring is definitely not as poofy as it was and it's kind of all stuck in one position so hopefully that will work itself out um but this one comes with the cutest accessories out of all of them in my opinion first we have an apron but it's not just any apron it's got blood splatter on it and it has it all throughout the strings on the side also 
And on the dress, there is little hooks where you can actually lace it through so you don't just have to tie it on. There is a little head scarf that comes with it. Not sure how I would wear it, but it is a cute little bright red head scarf. Um, and then you have thigh high stockings that have blood splatter on them, which are super cute. Two of them, obviously. And then, and then little pearls. And these are actually like nicely strung. They feel nice. They don't feel like cheap plastic. Um, they might break, but <laughs> it seems a little bit better than like a normal costume jewelry you would get nice and sturdy. So I, I think this costume is really cute. I think it looks good on me. It's on the shorter side, but it's not super inappropriate. So, all right. And last but not least, the aspiring widow costume. I think this one's my favorite. I wouldn't say it fits my body the best out of all of them, but I just think it's the it's so cute. It's something I would never think about wearing for Halloween. I'm gonna to try to back up and show the cute little bloody stockings. These stay much better than the fishnets from the devil costume. I also just love all the accessories in this. I don't know if it's all wear the headband, but like for now, this is how I'll be wearing the headband. For now, this is how I'll wear it. Not the cutest, but and then the pearls. And the little bloody apron. Oh. I think it's cute. It is definitely short, so I'll have to find something to wear underneath it. But yeah. As much as I want to say I'm gonna wear like cute heels with this costume, I'm definitely gonna end up wearing my Doc Martens because that's just how I am. I feel like I was whispering throughout this whole thing. But yeah, it's buttoned up. Cute little tie-up waistband, super cute, little bloody stockings, so nice, pearl necklace is so cute, but yeah, I did not think I would like it as much as I do, so glad that I really, really like it, and yeah, that's really all I have to say, I don't really have anything negative to say about it, um, I don't think I said this earlier, but there is a zipper on the side, but it does actually unbutton all the way down, which is really nice. And it is a stretchy material, so it's comfy. And then it has the, it's double lined, like I said, with the like, what's that called? Hoop skirt-esque material. Yeah, I really like this one. I think it's super cute. I didn't think that I would like it as much as I did. Yeah, alrighty then. That's all the costumes I have for you guys today. Please comment down below which one is your favorite. Um, like I said, I'm 99% sure that I'm going to wear the Housewife one to Harryween, but if you guys have another opinion, please let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. And yeah, follow me on my Instagram. Please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I'm really going to try to post more. I know I've said that through the past couple of videos. Um, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great Halloween. Not sure how soon to Halloween this is going to be posted, but hopefully far enough in advance that you guys can still check out Dolls Kill for their costumes. Um, and yeah, like I said, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on my Instagram, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.